how to find the best CPU cooler for your AMD Ryzen CPU. Guys, today I'm going to test a Coolio P60T, very powerful, nice uh, CPU cooler with RGB effects. And uh, if you want to see this and other cooler reviews, you can check the playlist up here. Why don't we jump right in and I walk you through the tests and the benchmarks that I did in this CPU cooler comparison. I tested it in idle on the desktop. I tested it with gaming and I also compared this CPU cooler with different CPUs, of course, to make it a little bit more compar comparable. Um, I used the AM4 CPUs that are on the seven nanometer process the Ryzen 5600X and the 5800X3D. The X3D cache always has the CPUs run significantly hotter. So that's a good comparison. And to illustrate my testing procedure, I have also actually screen captured uh, how it performs sitting just in, on the desktop in idle. You see it has about 900 RPM, it uses about 30 watts and it's about 39 degrees Celsius. Guys, if you're not using the metric system, I'm gonna show you in a second what that is in Fahrenheit. But you can clearly see on the, sitting on the desktop more than enough, even with the X3D cache CPU and the fan curve is the default fan curve from the, from the mainboard and it's very, sitting very low right now. Quickly looking at the test results, you can see I run this at the 20, uh, one, 21 Celsius room temperature using the Arctic MX6, the Arctic. I really like these Arctic thermal paste and 21 degrees Celsius is approximately 70 Fahrenheit. And you can see that both the AMD 5600X and the AMD 5800X 3D the CPU cooler has no problem. The RPMs run slightly higher than uh, some other coolers. I found, uh, I believe the Arctic, the RPM, the fans were a little bit better and uh, the RPMs went a little bit lower. But uh, yeah, from my opinion, a desktop use is rarely an issue with most fans. So quickly loading a game, we gonna test how this actually performs in gaming because that's actually where this the system gets the hottest. You know, if you have the graphics card, the graphics card, some graphics card, they uh, use 200 watts. Then you have the CPU and everything in the case gets a little bit warmer. So that's a much nicer stress test. And what I like to do is uh, let Cyberpunk run for 10 minutes, have the system warm up. And while I actually do that, I record everything in the background and share with you the test results. And as you can see, the system uses more energy, the graphics card uses more energy. I have a RTX 4070 in there and the CPU uses about 60 watt, which has kind of doubled and the RPMs also go up slightly, which is represented in the fan curve. If you look at the fan curve, we notice the temperature hovers around 60 degrees Celsius, which that would be my second recommendation. If you're using a CPU, an AMD Ryzen CPU with the X3D cache, Please check your fan curve. Um, it's very beneficial to often to adjust the fan curve if you have these X X3D cache CPUs because the, they have a little, little bit uh, different thermal performance uh, in the CPU itself because the cache comes uh, layered somewhere into that die. Uh, I would shift the uh, fan curve slightly to the right and therefore run the CPU, let's say at 65 degrees Celsius, maybe even 70. Uh, obviously, the higher you uh, go with the CPU temperature, the lower you can move with the RPM, which for some people might be actually a very desirable effect. So this is my average results that I came up with. Com again, comparing the normal CPUs without the X3D cache and the CPU with the X3D cache, the X3D cache runs hotter. Uh, but that's uh, not uh, not the, a function of the fan. It's really also how AMD engineered these CPUs and uh, the RPMs are also a little bit higher. I would maybe drop them down to a thousand RPM and run the temperature slightly higher. So this CPU cooler gets a thumbs up. It works great. Uh, if you know what you're doing, if you tweak the fan curve, you should be very happy with it. And plus the RGB effects, that's very nice. Guys, what other coolers do you want to see? I hope this useful video was useful to you. I see you in the next video. Leave a subscribe uh, and stay awesome.